From West Hollywood, California, the only news team that doesn't know what's on the teleprompter before they read it. Anyone who laughs or breaks loses points. This is Breaking News. Good evening and welcome to Breaking News, the only news show where we don't know what we're about to say and we're not allowed to smile or laugh. I'm Nud Puddler. And I'm Alice in normal name. Tonight, breaking news from the Vatican, where Pope Francis has declared that God just sort of inexplicably hates John Lithgow. The Holy See made the announcement in an official church declaration stating, quote, God loves all and forgives all, but he's just got this thing about John Lithgow <laughs> where the guy just bugs the shit out of him for some reason and he can't fucking explain it. The Pope elaborated that even though God knows John Lithgow is probably a perfectly nice guy, he can't stand him in anything he's ever been in, from raising Cain to the crown. Just not a fan. So interesting. Yeah. For more, we go to our, to our reporter Jingle Jangle in the Vatican. <laughs> Jingle, what kind of impact do you think we can expect from this papal announcement? Massive, Nud. The Pope's declaration signals to all believers that feeling an um unprompted rage whenever Lithgow shows up in something is completely acceptable. And I think that message is going to resonate with a lot of people, especially ones who hate John Lithgow's stupid face. Fascinating. Jingle, why? <laughs> Jingle, why did the Pope choose to make this announcement now? He just said it was time for the church to take a step in acknowledging that when God finds out John Lithgow is in a movie, he straight up refuses to see it. Even if it looks like a <laughs> cool movie? That's correct. In fact, the Pope said that God even does a really mean impression of John Lithgow, where he scrunches up his face and goes, I'm John Lithgow. I was in, um, that movie <laughs> read by Mindy Kaling, Late Night. That was it. I played, I was in late night. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's really mean. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and not even a very good impression of John Lithgow. Exactly, Nud. It's entirely petty. And it gives you a good idea of how much the church now believes God is a full blown hater when it comes to Lithgow. <laughs> This, of course, on the heels of last week's equally groundbreaking, groundbreaking papal announcement that for some reason, God is really into Chris Pine. Stands him hard, apparently. Yes. Sure. <laughs> Thanks, Jingle. Now, for sports, we go to Footballerson. Foot? Thanks, Allison. Big news in baseball tonight. The MLB Umpires Association formally announced that today that those external pockets umpires wear to keep extra baseballs in our lingerie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a spokesperson for the MLB Empire said, quote, our big outside sexy pocket, our big outside pockets are very sexy and they are absolutely lingerie. We hope that our sexy pockets aren't distracting players, but if they are, sadly, there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> Sounds like those major league umpires are committing pretty hard to the idea that those weird pockets are somehow erotic. They definitely are, Nud. You can tell they're pretty self-conscious about how bulky and dumb the pockets look because the statement they put out expli explicitly said, the pockets actually don't look bulky and dumb like something a cowboy would wear. <laughs> they're sexy underwear and we bought them in France. <laughs> well, that can't be true. It isn't. Hey, Foot, is it clear to you why the Umpires Association is so passionate about this issue? Seems like it's been bothering them for a while that nobody's told them their external pockets look sexy. So they finally felt the need to address it publicly. They've also tried to sell them at a Victoria's Secret in Times Square, but the manager made them leave. And what's been the league's response to this campaign from the Umps? They've been silent on this one, Allison. Probably because they're embarrassed for the umpires for claiming their pockets are lingerie in the first place. <laughs> which is pretty nice of them because it's been affecting a number of games. For example, at a Cardinals-Cubs game this week, the umpire interrupted the batter multiple times because he danced like this in order to jostle his pockets around in a sexy way. Oh, yes. Like this, like this. Like this. Look at me. That says Look at me. No, oh, right. Uh, this, it was like, oh, well, no. It was like more like this. <laughs> but without more wow. genitalia. Oh, okay, well that's not, but that's not sexy at all. Correct. The Umpires Association has also petitioned the broadcasters to change the rating of game broadcast from TVG to TVMA because of how erotic <laughs> the pockets are. And were they successful? Obviously no. That's all the breaking news we have for today. This week's loser is Carolyn. Thanks for watching. What? <laughs> this game is
is rigged! <laughs>